Hello everyone, what's good, what's good? I'm Ryan the Fams here. Uh so we got a little tutorial for you, okay? As you can see, I am downloading Splinter Cell Conviction onto my PC here. I'm downloading it straight to the hard drive, and as you can see it's all finished because this is what the tutorial is about. We're gonna see if we could try to properly get Splinter Cell Conviction working with this. So um first things first. What I want to make sure to do uh, to really show the issues that's going on with this, we're just going to start the game straight up. Now, when I tried this initially, I was running into some problems. but uh, So this might be the same case here where we're going to run into some shit. I'm expecting to run into some problems. So let's just play it straight up. Let's see what will happen. As you can see, I made a copy of it. This is my this is the actual one that I, ha I have working here. But... I want to make sure I run this the legit way so you guys can see personally uh, what issues that come about it through Linux. Now on the Windows side of things, there's already fixes with this. Like hell, it's, there's already tutorials with how to get this to work probably through here. But <clears throat> on the Linux side, I'm sure there's people that still don't know. Or if they do know, there hasn't been a vid that showcases exactly what issues that come about it with trying to get this to work. So I figure, okay, why not? Let me let me actually do this real quick. As you can see on the top right hand side, something called Splitter Cell Fix right here. We're we're gonna be using that, and then uh, I'll show you what the fixes for that is all about. But first, let's just start the game and let's see what'll happen. Got our Ubisoft Connect coming in. Uh, if you haven't, of course, you know, gotta gotta log in to your Ubisoft Connect. Otherwise, this is a waste of time. But as you can see already, the first bit of issue is the system detection thing. That shit's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be very annoying. It's gonna come up again, and it's gonna give the issue one more time. Sure, I'll move this over to the side for a little bit. In fact, there's the game. I'm expecting, yep, continue. Not supported. Yeah, I want to download it straight up so that way I can see if the issues will persist. Like how it did for me, it was persistent like crazy. So we're going to see if it'll pop up here. Well, ain't this some shit. It worked just fine out the box. Ain't this some. Um, but I'm going to act as if I did have the issues. So I had the issues initially when I first started this game. But I guess over time, I, I just so happened to fix the problems. Um, so as you can see 120 FPS and everything it wasn't like this when I was just starting out So I'll go ahead and show you what was it I did to fix the issues Really just about entirely So I guess it is what it is if this works then it works So what I did initially to start you know because I was running into some issues like I was having frame drop issues I was having like my controller fucking up um, but this is just me giving you guys the simple tutorial of what I did to make this work. So first things first was, of course, I went to browse local files. I went to the SRC. I went to system and I made sure to delete a couple of things that was very much being a pain in the ass. So first things first was I deleted the system detection because that shit is very annoying. I'm sure you're tired of it popping up it's still gonna pop up but it's not gonna be as in, be as annoying so we deleted that one the other issue was the conviction user PC so what happened on this particular one this doesn't show up here at least it's not gonna show up here because of the cloud thing you know thankfully so it wasn't like this okay 
when you have conviction user PCI9, it would show up as something completely different and it would be messing a lot of shit up. So what I did was um, if you don't already have the fix for Splinter Cell Conviction when it goes to me being a controller user or just in general trying to fix the frame rate issues, the issues that will come up with this where you'll have, well, as a controller user where it'll detect as a Logitech controller. For me, it wasn't like this. Well, for me, it was like this a lot even with the uh, the Conviction user .ini issue. For some reason, it's still detected as a uh, Logitech controller when it shouldn't have. But this is also where this whole splitter cell fix thing came in because of this not only fixed, apparently this not only fixed the splitter cell uh, frame rate issue, but this also fixed the controller issue where if you boot this up while playing the game, this right here, if you boot this up while playing the game, um, this will fix your issues such as uh, the game for some reason not running with all of the cores intact, not running with all of the CPU cores. When you boot this up, it'll run with all of the cores. Now, I don't know if this fully fixes the problem, but it's a good temporary fix just to make Linux know, okay, yeah, um, you're supposed to run with this on. Now, I don't know if this is an everyday thing, but just keep doing it, keep running it until you think oh, okay this fully fixes the problem now it's not just with this that you need to do uh not through deleting this through the system with the conviction user i and i what you have to do is you have to go to your home you know go to your file explorer search in your home the conviction user dot i and i and what you do is you go to where it says dot local. Sh hold on, we so go where it says dot local and share. This is basically Linux version of app data from Windows. So then you open the containing folder. I think this is where it, it would come from. Let me check and see. Actually, no, 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 my bad. But yeah, there's there's something that would pop up. It would be another conviction user .ini when you first start this. It wouldn't come up from here. It would come up through uh, another like system data kind of thing. And then you delete that folder as well. On top of you deleting the uh, system. Yeah, top of you deleting the, uh, the system situation. Yeah, uh, you'll see a .ini. You'll see, you'll see it multiple times. Just know this. It's not coming from here. It's not coming from here. It's not coming from any of these. But the one that is coming from is the lo dot local uh, folder. When you get there, delete that one as well. And then after that, boot the game up again. And hopefully that would fix your uh, issues such as the controller issue and hopefully the frame rate issue. But if that doesn't help, then just open this thing up. Open this up into your uh, terminal. So when you boot up your terminal, you copy this line of code. Whoops. Yeah, you copy that line of code and you paste it in here while you have Splinter Cell Conviction running. I repeat, you must run Splinter Cell Conviction and then after that run this. Because uh, then if you try to run it afterwards for one, it's not going to let you. Well, it's not really going to let you do it. It's going to come up with an error. So just run it and hopefully it would fix the problem entirely. I think because of this little line of code here, I think it actually fixed my controller issue and my FPS issue entirely to where I don't have this issue no more apparently like it's it hasn't been showing up again so it wasn't because of the conviction user I and I replacements it wasn't because of some other crap I really think it was because of this line of code here so if you guys can definitely uh put this into your terminal for Linux and hopefully it'll fix the problem. But even if it's temporary, even if it's temporary, it does a pretty good job as a temporary fix as well, just simply with you wanting to run the game. So uh, it'll run all the cores. It'll make sure everything's all good. But yeah, hopefully this till then, uh, that fixes the problem. I think another thing that may have also fixed the problem is if you have another hard drive, Make sure you move this game to another hard drive. That's one other thing I noticed. 
was it was less of a problem now because uh, I moved this from my SSD to my hard drive. On to be honest, this doesn't need to be on my SSD anyway because this is a pretty old game, so it's only right that it's on my hard drive. Uh, it doesn't really give me any issues on there. So I think if anything, it would help also if you if you could just move it there too. But yeah, um, all in all, I'm sorry that I couldn't give much of a like true visual look. On how all of this goes because for me it's not much of a problem anymore like it was initially I was gonna make a full tutorial on this whole thing because the issues kept on persisting but because now it's not an issue anymore and because this is a thing uh, there isn't really much I can really do but hopefully this will help hopefully the instructions I you know told you hopefully they will pay off hopefully they'll work if there is any problems, uh, just put down in the comment section below and I'll try the best I can to help. But this is just simply for the Linux users or in this case for the uh, Steam Deck users because of course Steam uses Linux that you're able to figure out this problem. For some reason, I don't know why no one made a video on this. But till then guys, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, till then, uh, I will see you for the next video which is me helping you how to get Simu, the Simu emulator to work with Pretendo. Now, uh, I, if you're going to ask if there's one for Citra, there will not be one for Citra because someone already beat me to it. And I think it's only right that I will go ahead and link that particular vid uh, right below with the Simu one. So till then, bye guys. You have yourself a good rest of the day.